Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft Command Basics tutorial. Just like last time when we covered the quick sort of basics of the selectors and tags in Minecraft today, we're going to be taking another short look at a very popular command in Minecraft just to let players know the basics and how it works from the ground up. Today, that command is the teleport command, or more often used the slash tp command. And we're also going to take a look at relative coordinates, local coordinates, and exact coordinates. So let's start. So the teleport command in Minecraft, what does it do? Well, if you've ever played on a multiplayer server before, chances are you've seen it used. The syntax goes a little something like this. If you slash TP or even slash teleport, although I don't think anyone writes it out like that anymore, uh, you can slash TP and then all you need is a target and a destination or location to send that target. Now, a target can be all sorts of things. It can be a selector, like we've learned about in our last basics video, or uh, a specific entity, or a specific player. For example, if I type my name right here, Ashley is also on the server right now, so if I teleport to her character, I can say, all right, I'll teleport myself to Hey, It's Me Bladen. If I press enter, I've teleported to Hey, It's Me Bladen. Simple as that. That is the most used version of the slash teleport command. However, there are some cool things you can do with it when you start to get into the different coordinate systems that Minecraft has. Now, what do I mean by coordinates? Well, you can use the TP command to teleport to exact coordinates, or coordinates as they are in your world. For example, if you press F3, you can see that besides all of this information that comes up, on the right-hand side, there's a targeted block uh, list that changes. You can see the numbers changing every time I move my cursor. This shows you the coordinates of the current block you are looking at. So, for example, this block right here is coordinates negative 109, 3, negative 111. And if I stand on it, you can see on the left-hand side, my XYZ is negative 108.4 or 0.5, you know, 4 and negative 110, 0.5. It's always off by 0.5 because of the way the player stands on blocks, but that's the coordinate of the block itself. So that would be considered an exact coordinate. That block is given those numbers in the world, and that determines exactly where it is. That coordinate won't be anywhere else in the entire world. Because Minecraft is theoretically infinite, the numbers will just keep getting bigger and bigger or smaller and smaller, depending on the direction you go to. So to teleport to exact coordinates, I've set up this example right here, where we're teleporting the nearest player, using the selectors we learned about in our last video, to these exact coordinates. And if you can take a guess, it should teleport us right on top of this gold block because that is what those exact coordinates should be. So sure enough, if I press this button, teleports us right to the top of the gold block. No matter where we are around the command block, it will always teleport us to that specific coordinate right here. That's because those are the exact coordinates. That's what we've put in the command block. This is a really useful command for teleporting players specifically to destinations. When you want to teleport the nearest player or any player, for example, using different selectors, to a specific location, dungeon, shop, or just anywhere on your server that you want to teleport them, you can use exact coordinates. However, when dealing with lots of different players and maybe class sets or messages, you might not want to teleport players to an exact coordinate, you may want to teleport them using relative coordinates. Now relative coordinates, unlike just putting numbers in after the target, you want to put these little tildes in, which is uh, should be a key near the top left of your keyboard if you don't really use it that often, I don't blame you. Once you put these little tildes in, it lets the game know that we're now talking about relative coordinates. Well, what is a relative coordinate? Well, a relative coordinate is a coordinate relative to the entity executing the command. For example, if I type in slash TP, and then my name again, and I put in these little tildes like this, it's letting me know that I want to teleport relative to the X, Y, and Z locations of where I am, because I'm the one executing the command. For example, if I just press enter, it won't teleport me anywhere because I said relative to myself, the exact same location. However, you can modify them with other numerical values to then change their relativity. For example, if I add a one to the Y value or the central value, it will teleport me to the same X, to the same Z, and to the same Y plus one. So if I hit enter, you can see that I jump up in the air a little bit. And just to make that a bit more dramatic, if I hit 10, it goes all the way up in the air, but the same relative coordinates. Now, this gets a little tricky when you're putting it in a command block because a command block is technically the one executing the command. So even if you have relative coordinates like this, teleporting the player 
five on the X axis, none on the Y and none on the Z, it won't actually teleport relative to me, it will teleport relative to the command block. To give you an example of that, it should teleport us five blocks back on the X axis. So you can see my Y didn't change, my Z didn't change, I'm still in this line, but no matter where I press the button, it's always telling me relatively five blocks in the X direction, like that. This can be useful when you're setting up a lot of different command blocks and you're starting to get confused with directions. You can just use relative coordinates in the command blocks themselves to teleport players relative to the actual command block. So if you've built a big structure and the command block, let's say, is in the center of the structure, then you always know relative to the center you can teleport a player in any of the four cardinal directions, which can become pretty useful. However, you can actually get it inside a command block relative to the player instead of the command block. So if you do want to do that, here's a little shortcut on how to do it. If you come into a command block and use the execute command, you can execute as the nearest player at the same player using at s, run, and then teleport the same player, relative coordinate, relative plus five, relative coordinate. What this does is it's telling the command block that this is no longer the entity that we're executing the command around, it is the nearest player. So similarly from before, if I press the button, I'll go five blocks up in the air because that's what I've edited relative to me now. You can see no matter where I am, I stay my X and Z, but my Y changes by a positive five, which is exactly what we would want in that command block. It should also be noted that you can mix and match these coordinates. For example, if I type slash TP and then my name again and have a relative X and then a normal Y of let's say one and then a relative Z, what this is going to do is instead of doing a relative coordinate of y plus 1, it's actually going to teleport me to the 1y coordinate. So if I hit go, you can see I should be in the ground because that's where the 1y the coordinate is right now. So if I actually uh, bump myself up using relative coordinates, you can see that I was actually in the ground because instead of using a relative y plus 1, it's actually teleporting me to the y equals 1 coordinate, which is right here. So if you only care about changing the player's height, but want their X and Z to remain the same, you can use the mix and match coordinates like that. But there is one more set of coordinates that's not as advertised in Minecraft, and although they're technically a type of relative coordinates, I couldn't find an exact name for them, so I was calling them local coordinates because they are more local to the direction that the player is facing. Let me explain. Instead of using the tilde key, we are now using the little caret key, which should be if you press shift and six on your keyboard, will give you this little caret notation. What this does is a pretty similar thing to the relative coordinates, but now it also includes the direction you're facing. Now, this can be incredibly useful if you don't want to interrupt players' directions or you want to move players based on the direction that they are looking. Let me explain. So the way we have it set up in the command block, this execute thing is just like this command block. So we're actually executing it relative to the player rather than relative to the command block. So what we're doing in this command block is we are executing it at the nearest player. So it's actually relative to them rather than relative to the command block. And we're going to teleport them X plus four relative Y relative Z. But the difference here is it's going to be based on the way the player is facing. However, something should be noted. Instead of using the global axis of uh, positive x, negative x, positive z, negative z, you know, so on and so forth with the y as well, it actually uses a much more simplified system of left, right, up, and down. What I mean by this is instead of x4 being positive on the x-axis, it's actually saying 4 is left. If I put a negative right here, it would be right y is now up and down so if i put a four that would be four blocks up in the air and if i put a negative that would be four down pretty much the same and z instead of being along the z axis it's specifically forwards and backwards so if i put a four we would go four blocks forward if i put a negative four we would go four blocks backward i know that's a lot to take in but i'll explain it as we're testing it so right now this should mean that it's going to teleport us based on the way we're looking four blocks to the left because it's a positive x so if we're looking at this command block right here, and I'll get right up close to it, I'll press the teleport button, and you can see that we did actually teleport back a command block four blocks to the left over here. If I stand back a little further, you can probably get a better angle, and you can see we've now teleported from that command block four blocks to the left. But because we're using this little caret notation, if I turn my body to face this way, back towards our old villagers, if I press the button, we're still going to go four blocks to our current left. 
If I press it now, you can see sure enough we've gone this way instead. Same thing if I face this direction, we'll now teleport over there, four blocks to the left. As you can see, this is incredibly useful when you care about actual relative coordinates, or as I'm calling them, local coordinates. You can teleport a player based on the way they're looking. So if you want to create a horror map and make it so whenever the player looks behind them, something comes out opposite them or teleports behind them, you can do that using these local coordinates. Whichever way the player is looking is the way that the coordinates will enact. But enough about the confusing coordinate system over there. Another cool thing that you can do with the teleport command is forcing rotation on the player. Now what this means is usually when you teleport a player, it will either pick a global rotation or the rotation that you were facing, depending on what you specify in the coordinates. However, you can actually force a rotation for the player. So you can see we're back to our normal teleport command here. We have relative coordinates. We're going to teleport them three blocks along the positive x-axis. But this time, I've added a negative 90 on their horizontal rotation and a zero on their vertical rotation. What that means is if I teleport, we should teleport three blocks along the x-axis, but you can see we're now completely spun around. It's a little, little confusing. So if I stand very close to here, three blocks relative to the command block should be right there. If I break that, you can see, I'll press this, but sure enough, we're in the hole. We've now rotated 180 degrees. This can be useful if you want to teleport players and force them to look at something once they've teleported somewhere. For example, if you're teleporting them to the entrance of a building, rather than them picking the global opposite and looking behind them, you can force them to face the direction of the building you need to face. This first number uh, is their horizontal rotation, so you can spin them any way like this. And the second number right here, watch if I change it to, for example, 90, it's their vertical rotation. So you can see now I'm looking straight down at the ground. And if I do something like 180 and press the button, you can see I'm looking directly up towards the sky by changing that number. So that's forcing rotation with the teleport command. Only a couple more things I want to mention with the teleport command since we've covered everything about coordinates that I wanted to cover. Using the teleport command, of course, you can teleport to coordinates as a destination, but you can also teleport to other players. For example, I have teleport the nearest player to Ashley right here, her username. If I press this button, it will teleport me right to Ashley. Now, of course, you can use selectors as well, so it doesn't have to be teleport the nearest player to Ash. It could be teleport the nearest player to a random player, for example, at R. You can also teleport entities to a player. So right here, you can see I have teleport all entity of type B using the stuff we learned from the last video to the nearest player. So if I press this button, you can see that there was one B already on the server and it's teleported right to me. If I grab a couple more and just let them all sort of fly around and press the button, they will all teleport directly to me. Very useful if you want to have a command to corral your animals or other critters on your server to a specific location. Um, that's what you can do. You can teleport specific entities to a player. The last thing I want to talk about is this strange rule when it comes to teleportation that you might not understand at first, but does make logical sense. The rule is you cannot have multiple destinations when you're setting up a teleport command. And what I mean by this is you can't leave something open-ended that the game has to figure out where you're trying to go. For example, this command right here is a big no-no. You're teleporting the nearest player to all players. In theory, what that would mean is you're trying to teleport one entity to several entities. Even if Ashley's the only other person on the server, it's not going to let us trigger it. If I press this button, you can see nothing actually happens because the game is trying to figure out, well, what do you mean by all players? Do you mean you want to teleport individually to every single player? Are we trying to split up your atoms and teleport some of them to different players? So you can't leave it open-ended like that. It has to be a single destination rather than an open-ended multiple destination. To exemplify that further, it also works with entities. For example, if I wanted to teleport myself to a villager that I have on the server named Bob, I can't do that. Even if I only have one villager on the whole server named Bob over there, I can't actually teleport to him because technically there could be another entity that is named Bob. Perhaps someone else named it Bob, perhaps someone will name an entity Bob. So the game just sort of locks you down and says, look, you can't use this because there could be multiple entities that you're trying to teleport to, and we only support teleporting towards one entity. So it wouldn't work if you tried to do that command. And finally, the very, very last thing is you can teleport without a target. It just means the target will automatically be yourself. For example, if I type in the slash TP command, I don't actually have to type in my name. You see the coordinates actually pop up down here. So if I do the old relative trick from before and type like that, oh, like that, 
You can see that there's no target, but if I press enter, it will teleport me 10 blocks in the air. This is probably the shortest hand you can write for teleporting in Minecraft, using slash TP with relative coordinates uh, without a target. So this will just teleport you, assumes you are the target, to wherever you want to go. And that's it. Just a quick little tutorial video today on how the teleport command works and the different types of coordinates in Minecraft. I hope you learned something new, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the series out. Let me know what you guys think. What commands do you want me to cover next? Is there any really confusing syntax that you want me to go over and explain further in a video? Let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll make a video on it. But until that comes out, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified when all of these command tutorials come out. Until then, I'll see you next time.